everyone. My name is Rebecca and I work on all things digital at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine in New York City. In this Cathedral from Home series, uh, I call up some of my colleagues to check in to see how they're doing uh, in the pandemic. Today I'm talking to Amy Leisner who manages the Cathedral's budget about uh, how things are going in her neck of the woods. Hi Amy. Hi. <laughs> um, first of all, how are you doing? I am okay. Um, I am crazy busy, um, mm -hmm. but I am, I'm doing okay. Good. Um, so I mentioned that you work on the cathedral's budget. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about how you came to that role, what it looked like before the cathedral closed, sort of, you know, the, the general overview? Sure. Um, well, I came to the cathedral because Mike Edwards, the CFO, and I used to work together at Lincoln Center many years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and I, so I came to New York to go to grad school. I ended up at New York City Ballet um, for eight years uh, in the finance office and company manager. Then I moved to San Francisco and managed a film festival. And then I went back to my, I went to Houston and was at the Alley Theater and Houston Grand Opera. Uh, and then I went to my hometown in Texas and took care of my mom um, for the eight, last 18 months of her life. Uh, mm -hmm. And I was in Victoria, Texas. You know, I was had managed a little museum there and was kind of trying to figure out what was next. And Mike called um, and said that this position had opened and how quickly could I be there? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I dropped everything and I was at the desk in two weeks. Wow. Um, wow. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And then three weeks later went and got the, got the, the zoo and drove cross country with my <laughs> family and yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, before the cathedral closed down, um, I was in my office and, uh, starting to prepare the budget for the new fiscal year and, preparing for finance committee meetings and investment committee meetings and, you know, just uh, working with everybody on the coding of their expenses. And, and really what I'm doing is not that much different, except mm -hmm. for that I'm sitting here on yeah. my, you know, yeah. my laptop on a TV tray and, and my critters all around me. So Yeah. Finished. I know that, um, like you mentioned, it is uh, budget season at the cathedral. Our fiscal year ends at the end of June. And so this is normally a very busy time for you. And so um, I'm wondering how it is adjusting to a whole new workplace, a whole new work style while also in a very busy season. Yeah, well, it's interesting. I mean, I, in a way it's kind of, good because I can really focus on mm -hmm. what I'm doing. You know, when I'm at the cathedral, there's pretty much a steady line of people coming in and asking questions or calling <laughs> and asking questions, which I love. Um, oh, great. That's my daddy calling me oh. from, from Texas. So I'm going to decline that. Oh. <laughs> my 88 year old dad, who's a uh, very tech savvy. So yeah, I feel like we can all... Most Daddy, of us at the... I'm being interviewed, so say hello. Hello there. <laughs> hello. <laughs> I'm glad you're interviewing my brilliant daughter. Oh, oh she is wonderful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love you. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and that, that. that was, that hasn't changed. That was yeah. pretty much a regular, I think everybody has experienced daddy calling me in the middle of meetings, so yeah. Yeah, yeah it's great. I feel like we've all said hi to him a few times. <laughs> um, so yeah, what you asked, you asked me what has changed. I mean, I can yeah. focus more, but I also can literally sit here for, you know, 14 hours, which I have done. Mm -hmm, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And, you know, the other thing is, is that it's such a, um, an unpredictable time. We just really don't know what's going to happen. So I'm trying to model a lot of different mm -hmm. possibilities. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a very challenging time for the cathedral financially. Um, mm -hmm. The dean made a commitment to keep everybody on payroll um, through the end of the fiscal year. And mm -hmm. so, you know, which we're deeply appreciative of, um, and we're just trying to gauge the impact of having the cathedral closed and pretty much all of our revenue streams shut down and um, just trying to see what 
depending on when we're able to open up again, how is that going to look? And so it's, there's a lot to do. You know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, from what I hear, though, you're managing it very gracefully. So oh. we're all very appreciative. <laughs> That's very nice. Thank you. <laughs> um, so as uh, you can see, I am talking to you from my kitchen, which is where I have set up my sort of uh, impromptu work from home area. Can you tell me a little bit about where you're working from? You said you have a um, like a TV tray on your couch, it's some true. animals around. <laughs> true. I've got Roxy right here. She's like, Oh, oh, hi, Roxy. <laughs> back there. Fester um, comes to the cathedral often with you. Fester comes to the cathedral. I'm very fortunate that Fester gets to come to work. Roxy doesn't get to come to work because she barks. Mm -hmm. And I actually have a video of her when I did take her in. She's literally standing on top of the printer in the window trying to get at a squirrel. So it's oh. like very clear why Roxy doesn't come to work. Yeah, yeah. If you're ever like, oh, maybe I should bring Roxy back, you can just refer to the video. And then currently, there are little paw prints all over that wall. Where <laughs> um, I actually, one of the things that was important to me when I came back to New York for this job is I wanted to be able to walk to work. Mm -hmm. So I have an apartment two two blocks from the cathedral. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where I am. I'm, in my apartment in Morningside Heights um, on my couch with my giant TV in front of me, which you can, you can kind of see in the, in the window yeah. back there. Um, and my uh, five pets. Yes. Five. The Leisner Zoo. <laughs> the Leisner, uh... hashtag Leisner Zoo. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, it's, uh, I imagine it must be both nice and, uh, sort of cruel in a way that you live so close to the cathedral. Um, have you been taking walks to visit, to check in on the close, to see how things are over there? I have, yeah. I've, I've gone to my office, uh, about once a week, um, mm -hmm. and I, <laughs> Roxy's like, wants my attention, um, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, yeah, she's loving it that I'm that I'm home so much. I don't know. Yeah. She'll be sad when I'm not here all the time. Um, I know. And I take I take both Roxy and Fester with me when I go up there. Um, mm -hmm. But I have to be careful because Roxy is uh, quite the hunter. She is she likes to take care of the rat population in New York. Mm -hmm. um, not that there are rats at the cathedral, but the peacocks sort of interest her more than they should. So yeah. <laughs> I have to, that would, that would really be a career limiting move if uh, <laughs> he decided to get too close, up close to the program with Peacock. So um, yeah, and uh, because I also live two blocks from Central Park and they're allowed off leash um, in mm -hmm. the mornings before 9 a.m. and at night after 9 p.m. So uh, I tend to take them there, you know, I take them there twice a day and yeah. they can run around and be off leash. So at the cathedral, they have to stay on leash, um, yeah. <laughs> so it's not as not as much fun for them to go. But it's uh, it's beautiful there, so it's always nice to be there. Yeah, yeah, I feel like springtime on the close is one of the best times to True. to visit. True. Um, other than uh, pets, dogs, walks, maybe that that's it. But are you maintaining any sense of normalcy, any rhythm, routine to your to your days? <sighs> Well, I mean, I, I do feel very fortunate that the pets give me a, a certain rhythm. You know, I have to get up every morning and take them and uh, take them out every night. Um, other than that, you know, I like I say, I'm working so much and I'm working mm -hmm. on weekends, too. So the days do tend to kind of run together. Um, yeah. But I am trying to cook. So Ooh. I... I've never been much of a cook. It's not that I can't. I just have never particularly wanted to. Um, yeah. I'm good at breakfast. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm good at pasta. Um, but oh. you know, one of, <laughs> one of my limitations was always I really didn't know how to make meat, like main courses. Mm -hmm. And so I have a friend in the dog park who has been sort of urging me and saying, you can do this and you're ordering out too much. And so, um, so far I have made roasted chicken uh -huh. and meatloaf um, to 
yeah, and I've been pretty pleased with the results <laughs> of both. Um, and I have a crock pot now that's still mm -hmm. in the box. So mm -hmm. I think that's going to be next. I'm going to yeah. cook something in the crock pot. <laughs> yeah, you can see my uh, my instant pot behind yeah, me. Which is yeah, yeah, that I've, was a uh, real debate. Should I get yeah. an instant pot? Should I get a crock pot? It was a whole, yeah, a whole, a whole thing. Yeah, I'm still figuring out the instant pot, but it's uh, it's a fun project to to take on. Yeah, I heard it was very complicated. Lots of buttons. Like there, lots there of are a lot of buttons, and for me, um, uh, the honestly, the reason I got mine is I think you know I haven't had cooking gas in my apartment, so you can see I have like oh, a hot right. plate. And a, oh my gosh! So that's been the whole thing. So I used to love roasting. I love like roasting vegetables, things like that. Right. Um, and so I can't roast anything anymore. So it's 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 Whoop. not just there about like oh. watch this. You gotta watch this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Esther's like, no, this is my yes, spot. Like, no, this Esther's is like that with pretty much all the other critters in the house. Yeah. And then the cat just leapt past my head and went <laughs> the other way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Never a dull moment. No, no. no, no there's no, always no. something going on at the Lyston Zoo. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Um, has there been anything that has surprised you about this transition in a good way, in a bad way, and, and you know, just something that you wouldn't have thought? Um, you know, I'm actually surprised. I'm, I'm very comfortable by myself. You know, I have a, mm -hmm. like I say, there's always something going on. There's always warm bodies. Um, and I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, lucky I have friends that I see most every morning at the park, at the dog mm -hmm. park. Um, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty, it's, I, I'm, I'm been surprised at how productive and how comfortable I really am. Mm -hmm. Um, here uh, and how you pretty much I can pretty much do everything I need to do without ever putting on pants. Yeah. So that's kind of nice. <laughs> it is truly like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen when I do have to see people again? I'll tell you, I just went and this is the first time I've had like total real makeup on. Uh -huh. And I went and found jewelry and it was like like a you know archaeological dig yeah. trying to remember where my jewelry was. What do I what do I wear when I'm going to see people? And yeah. the dogs are so attuned to my patterns that when I was putting on jewelry and stuff, they're like, "Oh gosh, you know, she's something's happening. She's yeah. going out," which I never, yeah, never. Yeah, yeah. not anymore. <laughs> Uh, and then the last question that uh, I have, what I've been asking everybody is, when we are able to get back uh, to working from the cathedral to visiting the cathedral to going in the cathedral, what are you most looking forward to about going back? You know, um, hold on, let me just, okay. <laughs> um, there are three things that I'm most looking forward to. Okay. Um, one, one specifically related to the cathedral open, reopening and the other two just the city reopening. Um, mm -hmm. uh, of, of course, I'm really looking forward to being back with my coworkers and my friends. I really miss everybody, and I really yeah. miss that interaction. I mean, people stop by all day just to visit Fester and you know, and I, you I, and I, you and <laughs> you. Know, yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, so I really miss that, and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, the other thing is, most people who know me know that I'm kind of a fanatic about going to the theater. Mm -hmm. um, and I desperately miss that. And I'm very concerned about the friends that I have in that industry and how, what a challenge that's going to be for them to come back. Um, and, you know, last thing very shallowly is, is I really need a mani mani petty. I mean, yeah. I desperately need a mani petty. So that is, that's the big thing that I'm well, It's sort of like, like uh, in order of importance. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> It's so true though, like those are the things like from the like really like grand, like are my favorite businesses going to be open? Are the people that I see still going to be around to see? And also, God, I really just want that like one thing that I haven't been able to get, you know? Like, I actually did. I bought the um, little UV light for my nails and the polish and I don't know, I'm not bad at it, but yeah. it seems like every time I do it, they're like peeling off within three days. So I'm just yeah, and it's it. almost like um, I feel this way about salads, where it's like I could make the same exact salad that somebody else makes, but if somebody else makes oh. it, it's going to taste so much better. You know, <laughs> right. it's just right. like I don't like. There's just some something to that. Right. <laughs> 
Uh, all right, Amy, thank you so much. I know you're very busy right now, so I really appreciate you taking some time to chat with me. Thank um, you for having me. <laughs> and I hope you stay safe and I will see you soon, I'm sure. Thanks, Rebecca. Bye. Bye. <laughs>